Hi, I'm the Artie Dans, and welcome to this review of this Taiwanese French co-production of a sci-fi drama called City of Last Things. Interesting title, very interesting movie. Set in three different time phases, we follow the life of a seemingly ordinary man who finds himself in exceptional situations. Told in a reverse chronological order, this is a movie that tackles the sense of individuality, the things that happen in a person's life to make that person truly unique. This is a bold piece of filmmaking, something we'd expect from the French, but not from the Taiwanese. Watch on to find out more. This review contains minor plot spoilers that shouldn't detract from your experience prior to watching this movie. Starting off in 2049, the story of City of Last Things follows Zhang Dongling, a former security guard living in a communal retirement village in an undisclosed city. His wife is having an affair, and as we later find out, she's been having several affairs for the last 30 years, but he refuses to grant her a divorce. While out on a hired job, Dong Ling is enticed into a brothel where he is shown a picture of a woman who reminds him of someone from his past. We later find out in the second third of the movie who this woman is and what's her importance. After a tragic event, the movie goes back 30 years to a younger Dong Ling. He is a police officer, and due to his refusal to take a bribe, he is set up by his fellow officers. More happens during this second part, but it's best that you, the audience, experiences this firsthand. Our final third sees us following a teenage Dongling, arrested for attempting to steal a scooter. He is cuffed in the police station with a woman who claims she knows his grandmother. <laughs> The plot is not as convoluted as it sounds, and it's probably giving you a bit of a Benjamin Button crossed with Pulp Fiction vibe with how the story is told. The importance of starting off with an older Dongling is highlighted by the environment he lives in. It's very high tech, but everyone is almost homogenous. The only sense of individualism Dongling feels he still has left is the birthmark on his neck, and this becomes a vital identifier later in the movie, but also lends to a rather frank and earnest discussion with his daughter when he realizes she has removed hers. To her, it was an inconvenience. The chip in her arm is all she needs to identify as a person. But to Dongling, it's a lifelong connection to something more special. This is the three actors who take on the role of Dongling over the three phases each do a wonderful job of portraying his growth and personality as a character. The teenage version is angry, rebellious, yet remorseful. The younger adult version is eager but scorned, while the senior version is stubborn and ultimately reckless. It leaves a genuine question in the audience about where the butterfly effect starts in this film. Is it the younger adult stage? The teenage stage? or the toddler we see right at the end of the film. Visually, the filmmakers have done a suitable job in crafting worlds that are distinct to the individual phases. The future looks very much like the future we'd expect. Driverless cars, financial transactions done via personal devices, and implanted chips. To add to the sense of lost individualism, the futuristic scenes feature PA announcements whenever crowd control needs to occur. It's a very Orwellian Big Brother situation, 
almost the worst of what we would fear for the future of humanity. The other phases are set in the present time of 2019, although this is never explicitly mentioned, and the late 2000s, and feature elements we're all too familiar with. Which now leads us to the question on your mind, should you watch this film? And that's a tough question to answer. Personally, I loved this film. The story was told at the right pace, each scene long enough to allow both our main character and the minor characters to grow. By the end of each phase, you should really be able to understand the thoughts and feelings of Dongling and understand who the players are that have affected the story up until that point. It's clever screenwriting and takes great skill to pull it off as successfully as it's done here. There should be no ambiguity by the end of the film. That said, if you like drama type science fiction films and films that want you to think, you should really enjoy this. Have you seen Cities of Last Things? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if you agree or disagree with my review. Thank you for watching this review. Your support helps channels like mine grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. You can also follow my reviews on Reddit and at www.theartydance.com.